leaving home for extended periods of time is never easy. But for a FIFO worker, it's a necessary part of the job. Before setting off on our trip to Newman, Western Australia, my friend Mark comes to pick me up early in the morning and we make a pit stop at my favorite coffee shop to grab a nice cup of coffee. We depart from the airport in Basildon, Western Australia, located approximately 45 minutes away from our hometown. You know when you're on a plane and it starts to take off? It's the best. The view from the sky is just so amazing. I just love it. I feel like I'm on top of the world and it's one of my favorite things to experience. As I'm flying over, I can't help but notice the beautiful but dry and desert-like bushland that surrounds the area. It's a sure sign that I'm getting closer to my destination and it always reminds me of the unique and rugged beauty of Western Australia. So, I've just landed at the airport and I'm getting ready to start the next leg of my journey. I still have another 45 minutes of a bus ride ahead of me before I finally reach my mine site. It might sound like a long journey, but I don't mind it. It's just a small part of the process and it gives me a chance to mentally prepare myself for the work ahead. Plus, the views on the way to the mine are pretty amazing. Look at that huge whole truck. Did you know the biggest dump truck is as heavy as 350 cars? They are pretty big machines and also they are automatic finally made it to my office and I'll be sitting here for the next 8 hours. I know it's not the most exciting thing to watch so I'll fast forward through this part. You're welcome. Finally, our shift is over and it's time to head back to our camp accumulation, Mule Mula. It's a pretty big place with around 1000 rooms so you never feel cramped. Inside we have our own shop where we can buy essentials. But that's not all, we also have plenty of activity areas like a soccer court, basketball court, mini golf, squash court, table tennis. And even a couple of swimming pools. So even though we are out here in the middle of nowhere, we've got everything we need to have some fun and relax after a long day of work. This is my room and it's clean and replenished every time I'm on my week off. Right now I need to get ready for my gym class, but before that I need to do a quick wash of some of my uniforms, otherwise they will be crunchy. Every block in the camp has their own laundries and dryers, which is really convenient for us. So now, I'll be doing a quick load of laundry before heading to the gym. I'll show you guys more of the camp and the facilities later on. As you can imagine, with a camp this big, we have two gyms here. One for each end of the camp, so it's close by for everyone. I normally use the night class for cardio and do weights early in the morning before heading to work. It's a great way to start the day and get my body and mind ready for the work ahead. Here is so hot that every time that I'm actually having a shower, I turn on the tap water that is cold, but no matter how long you let it run, it just never gets cold. It's so hot. Are you looking for a place to unwind after work? Look no further. Our bar opens at 6 p.m. where you can grab a drink, enjoy a burger and socialize with others. It's a good place to come and relax after a long day at work. This is our dining hall where we have our dinners and we can choose in between grilled steaks and fish as well as an extensive buffet with a variety of options to choose from. And for those with sweet tooth, we got your cover tooth. We have a variety of desserts such as ice cream, gelatin, pudding and cheeses.
but be careful or whole cake with custard is irresistible. Even for me, I try to avoid it every night, but I can't help it. This is also the first mine site in Australia to have a Starbucks where we can enjoy a professional barista coffee. And that's it guys, this is what I do every single time that I fly into work. So I hope that you enjoy, let me know what you think on the comments and I'll see you next time. See ya!